let's start designing this div with the id of ui so remember in our layout all these form fields were inside this parent div so th that's what we are going to be designing this parent div you're seeing outside let's go and for this tutorial i'm going to be using the internal style sheet so i'm just going to go in between this head head tags in the head section the right style so the beauty with sublime text it gives you the full syntax just write single word and it gives you the full syntax so let us start designing the ui remember we gave it an id of ui so i'm just going to hash ui that's how they select ids and i say background color background color going to be hash 33 so if you are to see this now oh, let me first put on this internet so cause i'm using the online cdns for bootstrap so i guess it's connected i can reload so and this is how it's looking but we are all soon going to be designing that so let us put some padding let's put some padding of like 30 pixels refresh and this is how it's looking very nice now let us push it down so that it doesn't attach the top part there we say margin top I'm going to say 30 pixels I think that's fair let's add on let's put it 50 I guess that's nice now as you can see these fields are close to each other and there's nothing big we are going to be adding there they are only just there is only this simple tag it's called the break tag just say br it's a self closing tag there's nothing like closing it so it's a self closing tag that's what you put and if you are to refresh this you see it will leave some gap there the same we are going to do to this choose gender and the submit button we are going to go where they separate from here and we put this break tag also and boom that will be solved so everything is placed the way we want but if you are to notice this all the text is, has disappeared when we added this background color what are we going to do we go to our internal styling and i'm going to say hash ui label so ui is the parent div is the parent div then you access the child which is inside you just have to space and you're going to say color ff which stands for white check this everything is now looking nice but remember these ones are supposed to be centered how are we going to do that what you have to do is go to the parent div which is this one this one with the div form and we say no this one and you say text center sorry not this one this is not the right place you just go to the form and you say text dash center and everything is going to be center yeah that's it now let's also create some space here well, as you can see email is close to the first name and last name just go where they separate from and you add this break tag Yeah, and that's now looking nice the same 
applies to the email below it just come below it and say be here and it's also going to leave some space as you can see now we are having fair looking nice form what we are going to do let's keep on styling this give it some border radius give it some border radius the ui border radius of 10 pixels so to get somehow like rounded corners as you can see we are now rounded corner so let's also add the image you saw in the background so this image i went ahead and put it in the same place with the registration form so there's nothing like path you're going to be using so they are on the same page or same area what i'm going to do in our style sheet internal style sheet you just go and say body open carry brackets and you say background image background image and you say ul ul url which stands for the uniform resource locator so where is that image located it's on the same it's in the same directory so we just have to write its name water.epeg so that's what i named it refresh and we shall get the background this image what we are going to do is style its position size and everything so that it looks very nice we're going to say background size and we want it to cover refresh look nice then we say background position i'm going to say center center so i like showing you every step we take that's why i go so this is how it's looking so center center we have centered it and in case you're going to add a lot of content and you don't want the user you don't want this image to be moved when the user scrolls down you just need to add this background attachment background attachment and add it to fixed refresh and that's how it will be as you can see it's a fairly nice looking form and yeah we are almost achieving our target now let's make it transparent so that the user even can see what is behind this and we are forgetting something important our h1 which shows that this one is a registration form supposed to be here H1 you say registration form refresh and it's also hidden because of this background color so in our styling here where we put the label you can say comma h1 so that they also target h1 and yeah it's also now looking nice let's make it centered we give it a class of text center boom it's also centered so let's make this form transparent as you said you come to the ui and you say opacity zero nine so you can go on and play with the opacity as you can see it's now transparent you can see even the leaf in the background you can go on and reduce on this opacity you want it more lighter still now you'll be even seeing everything in the background still you can type in your text 
nothing big with that all wrong and right now we are just studying the UI you can see it's very very simple to achieve this and let me show you it is even responsive on mobile devices and in case you need this extension I'm going to also to leave the link in the description below so that you can go around and download these extensions that will enable you to test the responsiveness of your website my internet is kinda slow and this is how it will look on mobile devices very very simple easy to create and all this is done made possible by using the bootstrap grid system everything will scale the way it's supposed to be and this is how it will look on iphone 6 let's refresh sorry for the slow internet let's leave this for now guys this is the important stuff i just wanted to show you so make sure you follow step by step how we created this make sure you check out the first video i created the part one and yeah guys if this tutorial was useful to you please go ahead and subscribe to my channel or stone code cipher give it likes share the videos on different social medias and always share the love everywhere so guys make sure you subscribe after watching this intro or you see the subscribe button in this area peace and this is what we have created a nice registration form before we go in the example i showed you these two guys we are not on the same line so still i was using these break tags to create that so like here I came and put this BR, the break tag, when I refreshed, it kind of looked like it's on, on a different line. As you can see, it's like on a different line. So you can go on and add them where they separate from and create some cool looking layout. So guys, please subscribe.